Using a new analysis technique, scientists are gaining insight into the enigmatic origins of ancient meteorite grains. These grains, which are older than the solar system itself, were created by old stars that died before our sun was born. The study of these pre-solar grains sheds light on the chemistry of similar stars, which are still present in the universe. Samples of the Murchison meteorites, which weighed 220 pounds, were examined by a scientist called Liu and her team. In 1969, 100 kilograms of cosmic rock fell on Murchison, Australia. Researchers who had previously studied these meteorites quickly came to the conclusion that this meteor shower was a fortunate one, not just because one of the largest fragments somehow broke through the roof of a nearby barn without causing any harm. The majority of meteorites that originate from the asteroid belt are subjected to heating and collisions, resulting in their melting and the loss of any pure material from the early stages of the solar system. Grain of rock that is older than the solar system is embedded in younger material in the Murchison meteorite. Because these grains have a different chemical composition, scientists know that they existed before the solar system was formed. Liu stated, these grains are composed of silicon carbide, which consists of silicon and carbon atoms. However, because there is a lot of oxygen in our solar system, silicon carbide does not form naturally. Instead, all of these carbon atoms would first bond with oxygen to form carbon oxide molecules. According to Liu, the bright red giant stars known as carbon stars have atmospheres that contain more carbon than oxygen, making them the most likely origin of these grains. To verify this theory, researchers must determine whether the carbon star and meteorite grain isotope compositions match. Isotopes are variants of the same chemical element whose nuclei contain different numbers of neutrons. Some isotope compositions are common throughout the solar system, while others can only be found in particular kinds of stars. Astronomers were particularly interested in determining whether the isotopic compositions of these grains were matched with what was observed regarding carbon stars. However, prior to Liu's research, the match did not impress. According to Liu, one possibility is that these grains did not originate from these stars. Liu stated, the previous measurements were showing that those grains had much lower carbon and nitrogen isotope ratios. But I thought the issue might be with the analytical approach. The surfaces of these grains may have absorbed these materials because they spent billions of years in our solar system and hundreds of millions of years in the interstellar medium. This suggests that scientists may have measured the surface's younger impurities rather than the pre-solar grains themselves in previous research. So, Liu and her team came up with a new analytical method to get rid of anything that might stick to these grains' surface. They first dissolved pieces of the Murchison meteorite in acid so that only the silicon carbide grains remained as part of this method. After that, they sprayed the grains with beams of oxygen and cesium ions to get rid of any debris that might have come from the meteorite's earlier parts. Following all of this, the team measured the isotope compositions of the grains using spectroscopy. Liu stated that the results were much more consistent with the data from carbon star observations. This demonstrated not only that these grains most likely originated from carbon stars, but also that they can now be used to help scientists improve their understanding of these kinds of stars, confirming Liu's initial suspicion. In fact, the strange nitrogen isotopic ratios of pre-solar silicon carbide grains have been a remarkable source of concern in the last two decades, Maurizio Busso, a co-author from the University of Perugia in Italy, said in a statement. The new isotopic data obtained in this study are exciting for stellar physicists and nuclear astrophysicists like me. A long-standing mystery in the community has been solved by the new data, which explain the distinction between what was initially present in the pre-solar stardust grains and what was attached later. Liu claims that this brand new data, for instance, sheds light on the process by which the cores of carbon stars produce aluminum. However, additional research would be required to confirm these insights. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new. Please don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends. We will see you on the next video.